So what if I told you that you can stay in the same spawn from level 80 all the way up to level 200 with decent, I would say okay-ish EXP? You would think I'm mad, right? Well, then I probably am. So the spawn I'm talking about is Eadron Hero Fortress. And at the double EXP event, you can make over 2kk EXP per hour at level 80 here, all the way up to almost 5kk EXP per hour at level 200. And here's how you do it. First of all, I will tell you about the characters. So, so to record these stats, I used a level 70 Elder Druid, a level 120 Elder Druid, a 200 Elder Druid and a level 240 Master Sorcerer. And as always, I don't use any imbuement when I record these videos, because then you can get the full hunt analyzer. And if you use imbuements yourself, well, then your profit is going to be even higher. So in this video, I will show you two hunting paths. One hunting path for the level 70 and 120 Elder Druid and one for the other two. The level 70 druid managed to peak at 2.3kk EXP per hour with double EXP prey, which is really good considering this is a level 70 druid with magic level 65 with basic equipment on. The spawn can be pretty scary and the vile grandmasters can cause you some troubles. I used sudden death runes mostly when I hunted with this elder druid. That means that you will waste some. You will waste around 100k per hour, give or take a few k. And if I would change one thing with the equipment, I would use a pair of Dwarven legs instead of Terra legs. Since this was a lower level character, a level 70 druid, I decided to stay on one floor. I hunted on the first floor where heroes and renegade knights appeared. The hunting path I used was this one. I tried to make a big circle going back and forth from the small corridor to the left and the two rooms to the right. In the small corridor to the left, you can actually use the boxes to your advantage. So these boxes are non-movable and heroes and vicious squires will not walk over them. So you can lure the monsters into the room and then just run over the box and you're pretty safe. Another way to keep yourself safe is to use a firebomb rune. If you use a firebomb rune and stand in it, the monsters will not get in close combat with you. They will still shoot you at range though. Moving over to the level 120 Elder Druid. This 120 Elder Druid had double damage prey and it followed the same path that the level 80 Druid hunted. The only difference is that it used avalanche runes instead. In doing so, it came up to almost 3kk EXP per hour and with a waste of 80k per hour. This one also had a bit better equipment and a bit higher magic level with magic level 77. Remember to leave a like if you liked the video, as this will really help me out to know if you like this type of content or not. Thank you. The last two characters used a different hunting path and gained almost double the EXP per hour. I'll tell you about it right now. The level 200 Elder Druid had magic level 91 with equipment on and had a double EXP prey active and gained almost 4.6kk EXP per hour. So from now on I will call the floors minus 1 for the first floor with heroes and minus 2 for the second floor with heroes. So the level 200 Elder Druid hunted on both minus 1 and minus 2. I followed this path when I hunted here. There shouldn't really be any danger for you at level 200 here, so just make sure you don't get full boxed. You can survive a wall box easily. Just grab as many monsters as you can and try to kill them as quickly as you can, of course, using avalanche runes. And another tip for you is don't be afraid of losing EXP if you have, let's say, one monster left with a good amount of HP. Just rush to the next room and get everything down. You will get way more EXP that way instead of staying behind and killing that one monster. And now you might be wondering, why does this guy have so many druids? I mean, one is enough, right? Well, druid was the first vocation I took level 100 on back in the days. So I really feel this strong connection to the class druid. Which one is your favorite class? Tell me down in the comment. And last but not least, the profit. The profit for level 200, well, sometimes you break even, sometimes you waste some, and sometimes 
you make a bit of a profit. It all depends on your loot luck and how much you stop to loot. I would recommend only to stop to loot items over the value of Brown Helmet and Platinum Amulet. Before I tell you about the last character, the Master Sorcerer, I kinda have to show you where the spawn is. So the spawn is located north out of the mountain pass in Edron, right here. It is super easy to get to, you don't need any pre-quest to start hunting here, and it also has a floor up above full of bone beasts that you can start to hunt at level 40. If you want to see how you hunt there, you can check my video up on the card in the corner right now. So lastly, the level 240 Master Sorcerer. The Master Sorcerer had a magic level of 89 with equipment on, it had double EXP prey active and managed to make over 4.6kk EXP per hour. That means that at level 200 and 240 there wasn't any big difference between the EXP and you are probably capped out at this EXP per hour. What's extremely good about this spawn is that it contains 9 different creatures for you to unlock in the bestiary. There's a huge difference in unlocking the monsters here. Vicious Squires, for example, you kill almost 400 an hour here, and that means that in two hours you're basically done. Almost. And if you compare that to Vile Grandmaster, for example, you kill about 100 of them each hour, that means that it will take you 10 hours to finish them here. And, so that we have covered all our bases, Blood Priest, Liches, and necromancers are scarce here, so it will take you a long long time to unlock them. But if you hunt here enough, you will eventually unlock them in your bestiary. When I hunted on the minus 2 floor with the level 200 elder druid and the 240 master sorcerer, I went a bit out of my way to get as many blood priests as possible. That is because they drop incantation notes, and incantation notes is really really valuable. As I said earlier, the level 200 Elder Druid broke even here, and this Master Sorcerer, which is higher level with about the same magic level, wasted around 40k in a 30 minute session. So the profit really depends on how much loot you manage to get. So how do you feel about this spawn? Will you try it out? I hope I could give you some insight with this video on how the spawn performed at different levels. If you want to see my top 3 spawns for a double loot, double EXP weekend, you should check the video on screen right now. And also, consider subscribing if you want to see future Tibia content. Until next time, see ya.